Hi guys and welcome to GSTOOP TV where we thrill you with amazing video all day long. If you're new here, please consider subscribing to this channel and hit the notification bell after you subscribe to this channel. Sorry, please excuse me. Thank you. So um, the candlelight starts from um, lighting your candle from this point. Sorry. Lighting your candle from here. Either you light your candles here. Then after that has been done, they have you walk barefooted through this aisle. I'll take you along so you get to see what the walk looks like. And how lengthy it is. So as you can see, people are walking through the aisle in celebration of the life of um, the prophet T.B. Joshua. Earlier they were playing a music, but now we can hear is salmon in the background. I wanted it for the reason God wanted those principles and called me through my teammate. Yes, they guided me. They were the fountain stone of my home. Okay, we are still live at Ikonso Synagogue Church of All Nations, Prayer Mountain where the commencement of the special service for the general bachelor the late prophet tb joshua is on and it begins with the candlelight service so earlier for the benefit of those just joining this live video it takes a process where you have to light a candle remove your um your footwear remove your slippers and walk barefooted through the process now um you have to are you looking for someone you have to uh move through and with the look of things we have people from different countries here in Nigeria to pay your last respect. No. So we are still walking through the aisle. Um, as you can see, we have candles on the water. It's an ocean. And the aisle is surrounded by this ocean. 
earlier at the auditorium we spoke to people who felt really sad about the demise of their general Vasya. You can see the ocean. We have candles on it, and the aisle is just around the ocean. And we have people walking around the ocean with their candles lit. And I'll be taking you through the process. life at Sinago Church of God prayer mountain where the candlelight service of the late prophet TB Joshua is held and basically for those for the benefit of those just joining the life we it's a process where you have to get a candle light the candle and walk through the aisle and just in the middle of the aisle is an ocean and we have candles on it and at the background you can hear solemn hymn playing this is my savior this is my savior. Hi. Hi. So did you fly down for um, the special service? Yes. From which country, please? Greece. From Greece. So what's your name and what can you say about the prophet? Okay. 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 So how do you feel about his demise? How do you feel about his death? First of all, I felt very sad because he left the show. I didn't expect him to, to live long. Okay. So earlier you said he's your mentor. In what way has he impacted you that you can remember? Yes, everything I know and everything I am today is because of him. Okay. So Thank you so much. Thank you very much. Good day, ma'am. Please, what's your name? My name is Alexia. Okay. What do you have to say about the prophet? Uh, the prophet is a wonderful man of God. Okay. He's a man. He's a wonderful man of God. Okay. I've never seen a man of God like him. Okay. He's the one because of him. I'm here today. Okay. So, 
Okay. 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 Okay, I know um I know the church to have a large congregation, but I can see just few people here. Can you tell me the reason and the process it takes? Why don't we have all the church members here? I don't know. Because of that, maybe because of the COVID nineteen and all that. Okay. We have a privilege and I have the grace of God for me to be here today and I'm happy to be among the people. Today. Okay, so what did you say? I said that the, the people who are here are the decision one that God want them to be here today. Okay. Yeah, because someone like me, I know, and when I was coming here, I said that God must make it possible because God is a God of miracles. Okay. That I will be here today, okay. even if it takes me all my days today for me to be here. And God did it how I want it. Okay. So I am, I am so grateful, oh. and uh, we are so, so I am so happy to be among the people who are here today. Okay. Because it's not by my power, oh. but it's because of the love that God has for me. Okay. Thank you. So I, yeah, how do you feel? Good. How do you feel about his death? And when you heard the news, how did you ask? The first time, the first time I heard it, I didn't believe that it's something that is true. And the person that said it told, told me that one of God is dead. I said, please don't say this again. But letter is true. And I know that he is in the right hand of God. I don't need to gaze because God, he showed us the full step that we're supposed to know. That will make us to know that he is in the right hand of God. Okay. He's true man of God. Okay. It's a very big privilege to be here. Yes. Okay, was this where he, he, he passed away? Yeah. Okay. So, I'm sorry, Rabbi. It's not easy for the most of the year. It's like God's way. It's not by power. Okay. We came and they said, This is where we're going to do it. And it's not something that you will say is by your grace, it's by God's way. That's why we are here. And we partake of all the blessings of God. Okay. He's not dead. He's in heaven. He's okay. happy. He told me he wasn't dead. He told you he wasn't dead. I'm not dead. You are saying I'm dead. I'm not dead. I'm here with you. Okay. 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 He told me my vision. I was so wow. That is not it. Till now I said no. That is not it. It's in my heart. Hmm. He told me he's not dead. I was, I was surprised with that vision. I saw him in the church in the vision. I said that, that is not dead. Because he told me that it's not good. So it's a privilege to be here today. Exactly. And we are all to see that it's a very good And we are the extension of the legacy left behind. Mm. I'm a particular, I can see it to myself. I'm going to be part of the legacy of the man of God. It's a very good thing to be here. It's a very good thing to be here. It's the best gift I've ever had. I'm going to be all right, thank you so much. Thank you. Uh, so we are still live at the synagogue church of all nations, and this is their prayer mountain at Igbe, somewhere around Ikoto. And this is um, the the church has commenced. A six day special service for their late prophet TB Joshua. Um, for the benefit of those just joining this life, it's a process where you have to gain access into the prayer mountain. The prayer mountain has an aisle, and the aisle is surrounded by an ocean. And on that ocean, you can see candles lit on it and we've spoken to church members who feel is not dead who feel is 
still with them so for you to um, go through this process you have to remove your footwear your slippers your sandals you have to walk barefooted as you can see people are walking barefooted with their candle lit in respect of the late prophet tb joshua and not just that they are um, in uniform it's a tea with inscriptions celebrating the life and legacy of prophet tb joshua june 12 1963 to june 5th 2021 not mine but god's own so we are still going through we are walking through the aisle and we'll be talking to more people and like i said earlier people flew in from different parts of the world earlier we spoke to somebody from greece who said the prophet is his mentor and because of him he is who he is today and according to a church member he said he's privileged to be here today because this was where god called the prophet according to him and we are still going through i'll be talking to more people to hear what they have to say about the prophet and how they feel about his death What's your name, Ma? How do you feel about the death of the prophet? Thank you. 